So we've had the Worcester Novices Chase, now we have the Berkshire Novices Chase. And let's take a look at the field for this one. It's a two and a half mile grade two. And the top one is Snoking, Leon Van Rensburg. Three runs, three wins. Alexia Squadron, Darren Thompson, Barolo Viking, Martin Leedham, Bilbo Baggins, Craig Allen, Downtown Man, Jim Murray, Max, Alex Cherry, Prospect, David Hooley. Who is the more foolish? Joshua Sutherland, back out old David Robertson, Ice Gem, Craig Beckwith, Jardines, look out. Ground Clutterbook, Modern Way, Leon Van Rensburg, Musical Belgium, Murray, Silent Fortunata, Craig Allen, The Assassin, Joshua Sutherland, and two to lose for Ryan Tamasebi. They're off and racing, the rain's coming down again. It's a pretty patchy day weather-wise at Newbury today. Rain one minute and clear the next. And they're making their way towards the first of 15 fences to negotiate this time, and Iced Gem is the first one to show and leads by about half a length to Silent Fortunata who's in second musical bell the first of the Jim Murray horses is close up and so too is Barolo Viking who's now going through to take it up as they get to the first and Barolo Viking took off and landed in the lead by about half a length to Downtown Man in second and also coming through now is Alexia's squadron as they get to that ditch and the leader took it well and got away from it well as well and now leads by a couple to downtown man in second silent fortunata on the inside is third and snow king after that one Alexia's squadron is also well placed one on the rail going well there as well is I've just lost that one for a second as they get over number three it's a lot further back on the graphic it's Ice Gem the one that's on the inside there we just lost for a second but it's Barolo Viking to this plain one in the lead and over it clear from Snow King and Downtown Man together they're spread right across the track Silent Fortunata two to lose and the Assassin are also close up looking towards the back prospect is just about the back marker they take the water there in front of the stand and the big screen and then they'll race away now then with a complete circuit to go and Barolo Viking is in the lead and he's going to try and cut across to the inside rail I would think leads by a good three lengths or so to Downtown Man in second Snow King is third Silent Fortunata is fourth and then the Assassin then after that one comes Alexia Squadron and Jardine's lookout Bilbo Baggins is quite wide on the track so too is two to lose Ice Gem still got the inside the one that's widest of all is who is the more foolish as they get over that plain one and the leader got over it really well a mistake by the Assassin Saw that one lose a length or two, but it's Barolo Viking showing the way home then to Downtown Man and Snow King, second and third, Silent Fortune to four. Then Alexia Squadron is after that one. Bilbo back into the Assassin as they get over next. Oh, there's a fall, it's a couple of fallers there. Downtown Man and Prospect have both gone. They both went independently and they're both out of the race. And it's Barolo Viking who is clear by five then coming down towards this next one. Gets over it nicely. Good jump in second by Jardine's lookout. Then comes the Assassin, Silent Fortune on the inside then Snow King and Bilbo Baggins Alexia Squadron's after that one then who is the more foolish Ice Gem is still going well two to lose he's trying to get closer as they get over number nine and the leader's lead is now down to a little more than a length so Barolo Viking is just about a length up there now on the Assassin and Jardine's lookout Ice Gem and Silent Fortunata they get down to the tenth and over that one it was a much better jump by the Assassin and it seemed that one come to share the lead then now the Assassin on the outside Barolo Viking on the inside Jardine's look out between the two. Ice Gem also coming wide. Silent Fortunata trying to get up the inside. And who is the more foolish? Two to lose. And Bilbo Baggins after that one. Snow Kings hit a bit of a flat spot. Then comes Modern Way and back at old. Alexia Squadron's lost its place. Musical Bell is at the back of the main group. And Max is the one who's detached and looks beaten. But it's the Assassin in front from Barolo Viking second. Jardine's look out third. Then Ice Gem is fourth. Over this next one they go. That's the 11th. And over that one, the leader Assassin got it got away from it well the assassin is a couple of lengths to the good then on Jardine's lookout in second Barolo Viking still there being pushed along in third then who is the more foolish and two to lose after that one Ice Gem is still there Silent Fortunata just lost its place a little bit musical Bell is starting to run on as they come down towards the fourth from home in now and the assassin is being challenged by Ice Gem the assassin in the lead here comes two to lose Ice Gem on the outside comes to challenge the assassin two to lose between the two coming round on the outside is modern way Barolo Vikings beating and heating the retreat over the third last they go and it's Ice Gem in front now Ice Gem from Modern Way in second then the Assassin and two to lose probably between these four although Bilbo Baggins is trying to run on they come down towards the second last fence then now and over it they go Ice Gem in front Modern Way second being chased all the way by Bilbo Baggins they race down towards the final fence then now 
and Modern Way has gone on. Ice Gem is second over the final fence and he went right through it, the leader. And as a fall around the Assassin's gone as well. And now two to lose and Bilbo Baggins are going to fight it out down the final furlong. Bilbo Baggins up the centre of the track. All coming back again then now is Modern Way. Bilbo Baggins and it looks like he's holding him. And Bilbo Baggins is starting to pull away. And Bilbo Baggins takes it comfortably in the end. Snow King finished really well. So who is the more foolish? Max will be the last one to finish with another dramatic race. And Bilbo Baggins takes it with another winner for Craig Allen. So Bilbo Baggins for Craig Allen takes it. Modern way for Leon van Rensburg was second. Who is the more foolish? Joshua Sutherland third. Snow King was fourth for Leon van Rensburg and two to lose for Ryan Tamasebi was fifth.